Hit Film Sensei here. Today in this video we're going to talk about how to occlude a lightsaber behind something else that's in the environment that you are working with. All right, so what we have here is a clip from my short lightsaber fight film called The Clash. I will leave a link in the description below to that if you want to go take a look at that. And in this clip, this is Shannon, and she is doing this flare move with her lightsaber. But at some point, the saber actually passes behind her head here like this. And then again, it passes behind her body here like this. Okay, so how do you actually make that occlusion happen. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start by taking my raw footage and I'm going to make it into its own composite shot. So here it is. The lightsaber prop blade, or blade prop I should say, is uh, visible. Okay, and then what I've done is, is I have two points that represent the hilt and the tip and I just drop those in here. So now I have this situation where the hilt and the tip points are tracked throughout the shot. I actually manually track those, okay? I'm going to go ahead and create a new plane layer. This will be the lightsaber blade. Click OK. I'm going to make the blend mode add. And then I'm going to drop my two-point lightsaber sword uh, effect onto that, okay? Opening this up under the hilt, I'm going to assign that to the hilt. And under the tip, I'm going to assign that to the tip, making sure that I zero out those numbers. Okay. I'll fiddle around with some of these settings, and then I will end up with this. So now we have this situation where the lightsaber blade is passing behind our actress here. Okay. And you can see that it should pass behind her here, but instead it's passing the blade being on top all the time, okay? So how does one go about taking care of that? Well, it's very simple. You're going to mask this out. So what you'll do is, is that you'll come to the point where you want to start occluding it, okay? Let's say right here. Uh, and I'm going to open up, and I'm going to grab my handy dandy freehand mask tool. I'll zoom in using my mouse wheel. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the blade for a second and then I'm just going to mask around Shannon here like this. Okay, so that way okay, and I'm going to like this Here. Okay, now if I turn back on the blade, you can see that that has cut out the blade. Well, that's not what we want. What we want instead is we want to uh, cut out everything but that part. So what we're going to do is using this invert mask button, click here, and now it is occluded properly, you see. Okay, now all I have to do is just keep frame that. All right, so what I will do is under the mask, under transform, I will click on this keyframe icon and you can see that it creates a keyframe icon on the path. If I move forward one frame and I turn this back off, then I can go ahead and I can reposition this mask. So if I turn back on the blade, you can see uh, it's looking pretty good here. Okay, so now I have this position and that position, right? And that's basically the way I want it. And then I get to this point. Well, now I don't need any occlusion. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and take that mask. And I will grab the um, selection tool and just drag that mask off the screen. Okay. So it will be off the screen the whole time unless it's needed. Okay. And I would do that same thing on the front end. Okay. So at this point right here. I would slide it off the screen as well, okay? Now what about this idea or the fact that her hair is being occluded? I might need to occlude a couple of things here. I may need another piece just for this, okay? Well, we can do that. What we do is 
is we grab uh, our freehead mask tool again and I'm just going to create a second mask here okay and that second mask right if I turn this back on is going to mess up the first mask so am I going to invert that no because that won't help at all so instead the second mask will stay normal not inverted but I'm going to set it to subtract so now I have this mask and this inverted add mask sitting on the same uh, layer so if you only have one mask then you'll invert add blend mode but if the second mask is added you will want to leave it normal subtract and if I added a third mask then I would also it normal and subtract and a fourth mask and so on so it doesn't matter how many masks you use the first one is invert add and then the second one is normal subtract and then all you have to do is just keyframe all of those making sure that as soon as you don't need that mask as soon as you don't need that mask then you remove it from your playing area here just by sliding it out like this okay so it only is here and then for instance now it's gone again okay make sense and it's really that simple that's all that you have to do so if you have any questions about that leave them in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching if you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from hitfilm sensei consider liking the hitfilm sensei facebook page following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday and Monday, and thanks for your support.